Hello and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. In celebration of Perseverance's landing, we're going to soar through space and discover aliens. Remember, what you decide your aliens should look like is completely up to you. But I'll go in depth and I'll teach you how to draw a classic Martian as well as Grogu, otherwise known as Baby Yoda. I use a Sharpie and crayons, but you can use any medium you want. So our first step to creating an alien is first deciding what kind of alien we want to draw. The possibilities are simply endless because, again, aliens are, as at this moment in time, a part of our imagination. So, for instance, you could do anything from a classic Martian to Baby Yoda. So, if I'm going to draw, say, a classic Martian, okay, I'm going to start with an upside down U, like a rainbow, and then pretend I'm going to come in for an oval before dropping it down more into a teardrop shape. Okay, and this will be my alien's head. So I can give him two eyes. I'm going to give him the traditional leaf eyes. Draw a leaf. Draw another leaf. And then I'm going to add a couple half circles so that when I color it in, I get eye whites. And then I'll give my alien a smile. He's a charming little fellow. Then I'm going to do two straight lines for neck if I want one. Before drawing an oval for his body. Okay. Once I have his oval finished, then I'm going to give him some arms. So I could do a straight arm, for instance, or do two lines and then two more lines if I want his arm to be bent. And then I can give him as many fingers as I feel like an alien might have, such as four. <laughs> now I'm going to give him a couple legs by doing a couple of long straight lines. And then I'm going to do an oval for each foot. And then of course you might decide that, oh man, you know what, maybe your alien needs some dooley boppers, some antennae, and maybe, you know, maybe he needs a bow tie as well. Maybe even a little hat. Okay. Anything you feel like your alien might need to get all fancy. Then my next part is I have this alien here, but you know what? I really feel the need to do something more well known. So I'm going to draw Grogu, otherwise known as Baby Yoda, just because it's fun and I can. Okay. So for Grogu, I'm essentially going to start with an oval shape. And I'm going to do this in pencil, even though the camera doesn't show it as well. Because I want an oval first with two triangles for each ears. And I'll come back and cover this in Sharpie so that my camera can view it a little easier. The reason why I wanted to do this part in pencil is because I'm not going to keep the lines that are connecting the triangles to the head. And then if you want, you can also give him like a cute little chin by doing a, almost like a really loose U. Okay. Next, I'm gonna give him two lines just to give his ears a little bit more definition. And then I'm gonna give him the same kind of almond-shaped eyes, leaf-shaped eyes, teardrop-shaped eyes, however you'd like to look at it, as Mr. Alien. And for my little baby Yoda, for my little Grogu, I'm gonna give him almost like a smiley face for a nose. I can add a little line across the top if I want it to be more button. And then a smile. And then I'm gonna give him some forehead wrinkles. Because whatever Yoda species are, they're kind of wrinkly. And now I'm gonna do almost like a rectangle coming underneath his head for the start of his cowl. And then I'm going to do almost like a rectangle 
more like a trapezoid or his body. And then if I want an arm sticking out, I might have his sleeve be more of a rectangular shape. But if it's down by his side, I might make it more triangular. And then of course I'm gonna add three fingers by doing soft little, almost triangles. Okay. And that gives you a little baby Grogu. But of course, maybe you don't want something that is both classic and modern. Maybe you want to create an alien of your own. Maybe with a round, circular body. And who else knows what? Oh no, the Sharpie's running out. Help me. Okay. So if you want an alien that looks completely different, well, this is art. Make it look like whatever you would like. Okay. The sky's the limit. And then, of course, once you've drawn all of your aliens, well, it's rather fun to add a background and then, of course, color. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that's how you can draw some aliens. <laughs>